Hi everyone, I'm Ken from Crypto Trading KS and the inventor of the CTKS method and Borsog Trading. If you're new, a very warm welcome and welcome back KS family. Let's run the numbers. Bitcoin is currently down 1.53% to 19894. Ethereum is down 0.17% to 1540. We're seeing a lot of weakness in global markets. The MSCI ACWI captures and represents 23 developed markets and 24 emerging markets. Look at this negative price momentum. This is not so good. Why has this actually occurred? Chairman of the Federal Reserve, Jerome Powell, gave a speech on monetary policy and price stability at Jackson Hole, Wyoming. His speech talks about rational inattention. What basically this means when consumers and businesses bake inflation expectations into their purchasing and spending decisions, the economy bakes in inflation and that's what the Fed must avoid. So they are going to take forceful and rapid steps to moderate demand. We currently have a 68.5% probability of a 75 basis point increase in the federal funds rate. That is actually down from 75% one day ago, but up from 28% one month ago. And the next FOMC meeting is in about 22 days. This has caused the main markets a lot of grief. You can see the NASDAQ 100 below dual levels of resistance. The S&P 500 below three levels of resistance. The Dow Jones below one level of resistance. And the Russell 2000 that was doing so, so very well is below resistance as well. The problem that the US economy faces at the moment, the stronger the jobs numbers come in, the more the Fed will have to tighten. A lot of people would think that strong growth numbers in jobs are a good thing, and they are, of course, but at this particular time, that will just cause ever increasing percentage increases in the federal funds rate. And what have we seen in the main markets in the last trading session? And masterclass students, you get my live chart in TM6. We've seen the fear spike up, come back a little bit. And what we see in the NASDAQ 100, we've got absolutely downward momentum and the futures are pointing downward as well. Bond prices are starting to level out. Bond yields are hitting resistance. Gold has lost support and the dollar is just flirting with that particular level of 108,448. And we can see that oil is just holding on to its support line. And what we notice is junk bonds coming down and the put call ratio spiking up. The put call ratio can actually indicate that the VIX will rise and the VIX is the fear gauge of the market. When fear is inside the market, the markets will come down and that means Bitcoin will come down as well. If Bitcoin comes down, your beloved alts will come down with it. And when we look at the dollar, the dollar has been holding on to the 108,448 mark. It's just consolidating along that level at the present time. It has a strong resistance at 110,689 and support at 106,052. These lines, these levels are very special. They're derived from the CTKS method and they're dynamic smart money buy and sell levels. They're not just drawn from recent price action. When we look at how the markets could play out, we're actually seeing the markets in this white line. There's a lot of ways the markets can go and we should always bear in mind that we're coming up to some definite months of volatility, but we could see a lot of upside action after that. These are nine sell-offs and recoveries in the S&P 500 since 1966. We could get a leg down and a leg up like this. This is possible. Or we could see more sustained downward price momentum. We could see a period of flattening and then an increase. I believe an increase is definitely coming, although a lot of people wouldn't think that. But we have to sit out this turbulence in between. And remember, the stock market moves very, very slowly. It's not like crypto. Inside the masterclass, we look at just about everything, pretty much just about. And we can see the inverse VIX. 
spiking down. And when we look at metals, metals can be a very good indicator of economic activity. We can see platinum has just dove off a cliff. It's just come straight down like a brick. The inverse DXY is starting to consolidate. We may see it actually dip up. Now, if it comes up, that is a good thing for the markets. That's fantastic. That's actually what we want. Why do we want that? Because when the inverse of the DXY actually goes up, everything comes up with it. And that means that a strong dollar can be viewed as a flight to safety. If the flight to safety isn't occurring, that's good for all stock markets and, of course, crypto. We're actually at quite a key time with global markets. We need to pay attention to what happens next. And when we look across global indices right across the world, we can see the majority of indices are actually following the US market. That's because about 60% of every, well, of all money that's put into stock markets globally goes towards the US. The Fed is actually fighting inflation expectations. And Masterclass students, you'll get this live chart in TM4. What we've seen is the federal balance sheet or the Fed's balance sheet come down. So there's less money pumping through the economy. We've seen the M1 and M2 money stocks just coming down, but they're actually increasing. This is the velocity of circulation within the money supply itself. So having more M1 and M2 means there's more money out there in the hands of people. And when we look at the 10 year and the five year break even inflation rates, they've still been coming up. The Fed needs to crush forward expectations on inflation. We want to see these things drop like a brick. The market just doesn't believe the Fed is going to go hard. And that's going to cause a shock in the market when they do, because they need to. And we've seen the Nasdaq come down and that pulls the inflation rates down with it. But we need to see the 10 year and the five year really come off where they are right now. And Masterclass students, you'll get a deep dive explanation of this chart in TM4. Just as the stock market has a fear and greed indicator, so do we as well in the crypto space. And it's currently at 27. So there's been a little bit more optimism come into the crypto market recently. The question is, can the confidence actually be maintained? We're still under a variety of different resistance levels, but we are starting to create a support level just at this point of time. And there's another one through here at the bottom as well. Things were looking so fantastic in the past trading session and then everything just basically went down. And what we saw was there was a lot of rejection just below this particular resistance line playing out at 20,687. And we can see Bitcoin is currently 19,835. And when Bitcoin decided to drop, it really dropped. It found support on the pass resistance line and turned it to support. That hammered out a short term low, which we're just tracking now. If we actually come down and violate or trade below 19,700, we're very close to this Armageddon line at 18,942. The markets are in a degree of turmoil at the moment that we always have to have our three cases playing out in our minds at all times. It would be easy to get it caught in the narrative. The prices can only come down, but markets aren't like that. Markets may say, hmm, everybody expects the market to come down. OK, so I'll rally and then everybody expects the markets to rally and then it comes down. As smart money, we're always understanding that price can go against us, go nowhere or go for us. It's kind of like a traffic light and you can't get all greens when you drive around. It'd be nice, but you just can't do it. And you certainly can't do it in the market. The market controls your return, but you control the trade or investment. And the market only rewards knowledge. The first thing crypto technical analysts do is they mark up their charts with the CTKS method. I'm going to show you some new charts today that will really, really help you out. Then we look beyond the charts into the macroeconomic environment to understand things like the federal funds rate, to understand monetary policy, to understand how inflation impacts things. And we're looking for continuously reliable signals in the outside world, outside of crypto. 
crypto and then we come back into the crypto market finding the market's focus always understanding that opportunities do reset daily they reset by the minute actually in crypto but before we buy or sell we master emotional control the market controls the return if you take it personally what the market does to you the market doesn't know you and it never will when you understand and it can take many many years to understand this only your knowledge is rewarded you actually focus on learning and that learning will help you to get over blame you don't want to get into blame as soon as you get into blame you shut your mind down from lessons and the market will just hammer you continuously and that's exactly why we have the ctks creed these are just a series of positive affirmations that you say to yourself to prime your mind for profitability in the crypto market i know the universe wants me to succeed every day i show kindness integrity and gratitude i know opportunities and life reset daily i am worthy i go slow to go fast i start small and scale with borsog life pullbacks give me the strength for the next life rally i am dedicated and committed i win or learn and never blame so we understand that fear in the crypto market is increasing we understand that we're under multiple levels of resistance and some lines we just don't want to cross now having said that we can look into bitcoin with a much more scientific approach with stanfield levels and they're just levels of dynamic smart money buy and sell levels derived from the ctks method and what we can see there are several levels of resistance above the current price there's one sl at 19889 another one at 20297 20,394 and then we get some really really heavy ones up between 21 and 21,442 notice that the support isn't really there we've got one at 18,840 and one at 17,972 if we start to lose this lower low here we're in trouble we could be seeing very very negative price action but we can't all be about doom and gloom. We have to look the other way. If we get through this 20,000 level and start to actually trade above that, that can be fantastic because that then acts as a level of support. We desperately need levels of support in the market right now. We just don't have them. Just bear in mind at the current time, we're under multiple levels of resistance. We're about 4.79% away from the Armageddon line. We don't want to cross that line because there's no real support underneath it. That doesn't mean that things are hopeless. Opportunities reset every day and there's always something cooking in the crypto market. It just means that we need to be sensible because we know rule 45 no alt can escape bitcoin's gravity your alts are moving in directional correlation with bitcoin a lot of smart money investors and traders are sitting on the sidelines right now seeing what happens with price they just want the market to move in a specific direction when we track the shorts and the longs we can actually gain some sort of perspective if a decision has been made what do we notice with the shorts the shorts were really coming up and then they got hit. And what do we notice with the longs? The longs are losing confidence. They're not buying the dip at the moment. And the shorts aren't going in heavy either. We've got some turnaround in shorting behavior and we can see the longs decreasing. But this is not a very confident move on the part of the shorts. It's almost as if the shorts are actually waiting will the markets actually go down they're a little bit uncertain looking at liquidations in the past 24 hours there's been 243.94 million in liquidations across 61,019 positions in the past 24 hours and if we look across total liquidations over the past 24 hours it's been 54 percent long what about the past 12 hours nearly 70 percent long what about the four <laughs> past four hours it's changed the other way about 76 percent short and what about the past hour nearly 79 percent short so what we can see the longs were getting liquidated and the longs turned around and said your your turn shorts the shorts and the longs are always taking turns to get liquidated 
And we can see at the moment more longs have been liquidated than the shorts. Global crypto market cap decreased 0.76% over the last day to 90, <laughs> 972.89 billion. We can see that there are always opportunities in the crypto market. Flow is up 7.21%, Atom up 6.81%, Near up 6.42%, Nexo 4.66% up, EGLD a little over 4% up. And leading up the back of the pack with the greatest losses over the past 24 hours in the top 100. Synthetics down nearly 13%, XEC a little over 8% as is Helium, Chili 7% down, OKB 6.43% down and Arweave just about 5.9% down. What we're looking for in the top alts is a break of trend. So far, we're not seeing a break of trend in Ethereum. It's still under resistance. BNB, Binance Coin, is under resistance. What we can see, ADA sold off very, very sharply. It could be trying to make a U-turn here. It's just very, very early days. And XRP is a little bit of a hard chart to read because of all the spikiness. When you get extreme variations, just like in statistics, you can normalize them by going down to more substantial price action. When we do that, we can see that we're still under resistance with XRP. I think it's a bit of a good thing to understand how to read these spikes. And Solana, still under resistance. Doge is under resistance. DOT, under resistance. And Matic starting to level out. You can see this consolidation action with Matic. Matic is saying, ah, Bitcoin, you're going down, but I'm going to stay where I am. But Ken, you said that no old can escape Bitcoin's gravity. What you will actually find is that even Matic is obeying Bitcoin's price action. It's just over accentuating the up moves and under accentuating the down moves. You can see, for example, this blue line is Bitcoin's gravity. Notice how Bitcoin pulls Matic down and pushes Matic up and then pulls it down and then pushes it up. You get over and under exaggerations. And let's have a look at a couple of levels on Matic as well. We can see that we're bumping up and down a bit of a channel here between two SLs. One support level at 795 and one resistance level at 835. That is 83.5 cents. The current price is 824. You can see this ranging behavior. We've got resistance above at 918 and 928. And we've got support below at... <laughs> quite a bad number 666 if you want to actually create these dynamic smart money buy and sell levels the knowledge is inside the masterclass it's all about the confluence of the lines drawn by the ctks method so these lines are not just recent price action support and resistance levels they're structural they're dynamic smart money buy and sell levels these are the ones the professionals use and you'll learn about those inside the Crypto Trading KS Masterclass, which is a premium Rolls Royce level masterclass on crypto technical analysis using the CTKS method. And this, the CTKS method is a method of technical analysis invented by myself, specifically for crypto that accounts for exponential implosions and explosions in price and updates normal stock market and Forex technical analysis to the 21st century. There are many components within the Crypto Trading KS Masterclass and it's all designed from an exponential learning technique basis. So you don't need any previous experience. What I'm just going to show you is that there's a living video section after the trigger, <laughs> trigger section and that's where I'll be putting in the update to the CTKS method and help you more to understand these SL levels. If you're in the masterclass, please do not skip lessons. Every lesson relies on the previous lesson. And if you would like to understand why I created the masterclass, just go into the testimonials page. You'll see a video where I explain it's all about knowledge transfer. And there's many, many testimonials that you can go through to read others' experiences.
If you're suffering any form of financial hardship, but you really are dedicated to learning, we have a number of CTKS partial masterclass scholarships available. A Carey Chambers scholarship, a Purpuratum scholarship, a Tail scholarship, and one from myself. Please let me know your Borsog code from today. It's really important to do this active learning. If you're not active learning, the market will not reward you. The market only rewards knowledge. And remember, it doesn't know you. The only thing it can assess is your knowledge. Yesterday, we talked about courage because courage is such a big deal with the crypto market. And especially because crypto is so incredibly volatile. I would like to thank everybody for their fantastic comments and sharing in yesterday's video. And Raja said, Courage is the prerequisite to action. Without courage, it's really difficult to act. And knowledge without execution doesn't mean much. And this is all about rule 252. Prepared, not scared. You need courage to be in the crypto market or to be in any investment or trading market. We are very actively patient as a community. We have an absolutely incredible global family. I'd really urge you to read the comments. Each and every day, there's just so much wisdom that's shared in our global family. Al had a fantastic comment. Courage always involves a degree of fear, such as keeping your commitment, saying sorry, admitting when you're wrong, or even speaking up for someone else or for yourself, learning to say no when no is what needs to be said. It can also take the form of a cop running into an active shooter scene, a fireman into a burning building, an emergency doctor or nurse or paramedic fighting harder than the patient themselves or a CTKS eagle layering into the deepest of red candles as price action approaches the next key level of support. There is a way to lessen the fear component of courage. It's really simple. Just put in the time to train hard and prepare yourself before the moment arrives and the emotion takes effect. Well done, Al. Wise, wise words, my friend. This is so very, very true. What smart money does, it acts ahead of time. Tiana did a bit of a quote. Courage, you'll need courage to get back into the market when the market sees that it's repairing itself. You want to take advantage of that. You want to be really keen with your eyes, wait for it, and then jump in and synchronize before you go heavy. Well done, my friend. And to free dentists, our thoughts and love are with you, my friend. Just like Nanad, and just like the many people that don't reach out in the comments, but are going through life pullbacks. Hang in there, everyone. Things do get better. I asked a question in yesterday's video. What does it mean when stable coins are in the greatest losers, or in fact, in the greatest gainers? It means the market is overheated and is looking to reverse. You'll see that I call that up a lot because I want everybody to pay attention to those stable coins. If they make their way up to the top of the list, that is bad. Top of the list on the negative, that's bad. Top of the list on the positive, that's bad as well. You can think about it this way. The logic behind that is that stable coins are st <laughs> supposed to be stable. If they're making their way into the greatest losers or greatest gainers, something is definitely wrong with the market. And I love what signs have said. I'm a getting out of here. <laughs> That's so funny. What you will find, the more times you do your Borsog code, the more you will actually be synchronized in with the market. Borsog trading is all about synchronizing in with very small position sizes to start with and scaling those positions as you synchronize in more and more with the market. But if you find yourself desynchronizing, descale, or in fact even get out of positions, it's perfectly fine. And to Nick, I'm so happy your daughter is better, or feeling better on the mend. And well done to Jaylink. Beautiful comment. Courage is not having no fear. Courage is actually taking action when you are fearful. We're really good, my friend. There are so many fantastic comments. I'd urge you to read them. They're just brilliant. And if you're new to the community, perhaps just reach out and say hi as a comment. It does take courage to post comments on YouTube, as Michael was talking about.
And for people who are interested in the scholarship, I always assess scholarship applicants by worth. And that actually means that people need to be able to put in the hard work. And I can see certain people doing that. I'm really happy to see that. In the comments, I thought we could talk about respect. Respect is incredibly important. If you come across people and they don't respect you, how do you feel about those people? But if you come across people who do respect you, how do you feel about those people? And how do you respect the market as well? There's many, many dimensions to the diamond of respect. It's a really good thing to talk about. And I look forward to your comments. If you have family or friends who could benefit from positive excellence and what we do each and every day, seven days a week, please introduce them to our community by sharing a video. We'd love to see them here. We have one of the best communities on YouTube. And if you're new, please consider sharing and liking this video and also subscribing to the channel. We would love to have you as a part of our globally extended KS family. Thank you very much to our moderators for keeping our community safe from scammers. And please note, I don't have WhatsApp or Telegram, but scammers sure do. Thank you very much to the CTKS ambassadors for assisting Masterclass students. And of course, a very big thank you to you for watching and for being part of our global family. As we go through this process of looking at the different varieties of cryptos in each sector, you can see the sector name up here towards the top left. For example, if I go here, you can see that's GameFi. If I pick another one, for example, blockchain infrastructure, you can see it up there in the top left. What you really want to do is to keep your eyes on these green and the red, especially the deep green and the deep red. For example, we can see synthetics and trouble, <laughs> Teller, TRB, sorry, I call it trouble. Uh, we can see they've come off quite a lot, but this is actually to be expected. These were very, very overextended, but they're also incredibly good projects. Just keep your eyes on the deep red and the deep green. Sometimes the deep greens will indicate that the market is actually getting overheated depends on what the deep green actually is. That's a little Borsog tip for you. Please remember, crypto is volatile. Always prepare yourself for the best and worst case scenarios. Reality will likely be between them. Stay safe out there, my friends. Take care and see you next time. Bye for now.